your best friend? She's my best friend because she's always there. She's got a great sense of humor. Shut we're up. actually, we're, <laughs> Shut it's actually, up. she's actually 10 year, I, I call her the blonde version of me. And she's not as selfish as she used to be anymore. She, you know, I've it, grown. Yeah. You've grown. I know. But I she's know. always there and she has my back. Oh, so sweet. Oh, Aww. great. Auntie Val. Yes. What is your favorite thing about her? So you have helped me become a better person by just being you. And I love you. Well, let's turn you to a love fest. No. Um, you have been one of the only friends in my whole entire life that I ever hung up on with the phone. <laughs> oh, that's right. She, oh, she hung up on me twice. And this is years apart. I don't even remember over what it was. But that's true friendship. I'm talking to you and I was like, oh, I saw that. I've never hung up on anybody. And I sometimes I thought that it wasn't going to work, right? Like, yeah. I was ready to be like, but, you know, you just kept coming back. <laughs> <laughs> One of the things I love about your mom is she is a dreamer and a believer. And this is truth to that so right there. We're going to Paris. We are going to Paris. We don't know Paris. when, but we're going. Truth Serum in Paris, friends. Oh, Truth so, Serum in Paris. Truth yeah, Serum on the road. I know. So, nice. So okay. basically, everyone should find a friend like you two. Oh my god, I love her. <sighs> it's hard. It is. But you you said, okay, it. this has evolved. This is good. Though. This is good, right? You gotta stick with it. You gotta work with it because she freaking pisses me off a lot. But then we work about we work it out. So I've heard other people talk about, oh, I no longer talk to Kim because she said something about my kids being bad or whatever it was. Like I was a bad mom because I was leaving them home alone when they were like ten and that's my choice and so she no longer talks to me. And I'm thinking, like, well, just tell her, like, what, how you feel. You get we to could a, talk about those. It's, but we've gotten to a point where it's a lot easier, I, mean, I think. It's not <laughs> something that we would have done in our 30s. I think ego had a lot to do with it. You call me out a lot of shit, too, I, And so. you call me out yeah. lately, not before. But, <laughs> That's but the point <laughs> is, is that it, without this communication, I mean, I had to call you on the way here because there was so, there's no judgment now, though, right? Yeah, no one's always going to be here for me. So, absolutely. yeah, so what Girl Friday is so talking it. about is finding a friend that has your back, yeah. that you know you can say crap to, yeah. but it's going to be it able to still, and it's yeah. not going to judge you, and you're going to be okay. It's like, yeah, you know what? I screwed up. I'm sorry. I don't know what I did. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. When do you say sorry, right? Like that, sometimes yeah. when I let you down, and I know those times, I know that time, yeah. I let you down. I'll bring Hair dyeing or gr all gray all the no. time?